ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to my channel for another Hot Toys Star Wars 1 6 scale figure unboxing and review video. Now, today, we are taking a look at the Grogu set from The Mandalorian. Now, I got mine from ToysWonderland.com. Link for that is in the description below. They have 12 month installment plans and a points based reward system. While you're down there, why not hit that subscribe, bell notification icon, and join button for more info on Justin's collection plus the channel membership. As for the box art, it's done in the typical Star Wars style. An image of one of the Grogu's front and center, another one on the wraparound banner, and then a bunch more product shots, including the Loath Cat on the side. On the back, you simply have all of the warnings and legal info. On the inside, you've got a couple more product shots, including Mando holding baby Grogu. Then, of course, all of the various components that make up the Grogu set. Now, I don't really know how to feel about this, because I would have thought if we were going to get another version of Grogu in 1-6 scale, in its own set, it would have been fully articulated. But unfortunately, that's simply not what we have here. What we are going to do now, though, is get all of the accessories, I guess, laid out in the light box and take a closer look at everything that comes in the set. Here we have what I consider to be the main accessories with the Grogu set. Now, starting off with the little space frog first, he is quite surprisingly made out of a rigid plastic. I would have thought this would have been slightly rubbery, but it isn't. Do be careful not to snap his legs. I do like the color choice with the green and black, he's slimy and glossy, and he does have one teeny tiny black eye around the front. You do get two different hover prams, and this one might just be my favorite. I like the sculpting, all of the little individual moving buckles, plus the pop of color for the buttons that are different on either side. On the inside, this looks like it's fabric, but it's not. It's all fully sculpted, but the texture is on point. It's also completely filthy. Both on the outside, where it looks like the blue has been stripped away to reveal the silver underneath, even on the inside. And yes, down below, it looks absolutely disheveled. You also have a translucent rod, plus this little stand down below, so it actually looks like it's hovering in your collection. Then we have the much sleeker hover pram, and I like this one too. The paint applications are stunning, as you'd expect. There are multiple passes of pitting, plus, I've said it already, but I'm going to say it again, dirt and grime on the surface. I do like this gold bronze color underneath, and the multiple different shades of silver they've used. It's not just a shiny silver pod, there's a lot more to it. You can also remove the top cover, which, yes, is painted on the inside as well, to reveal even more detail. You also have a real fabric blanket, so if you want to, you can absolutely wrap up Grogu. I am curious though, which of these two hover prams do you prefer? Or do you prefer neither, and you'd rather go with the original one that came with the Hot Toys Mando? Hovering straight up and down in the light box, no crazy poses or accessories or anything like that. Here we have two Grogu's in their hover prams, plus another one on the ground, the Loath Cat and the Frog. As a fully completed set, there is a lot to look at here. I like the two hover prams as we've already discussed, the Grogu's themselves. We've seen them before, but they're nicely sculpted and painted. I do like the Loath Cat, the Frog, and the newly sculpted Grogu that's fully swaddled. But long story short, yeah, you get a ton of options if you're a fan of Grogu, and you want more of those options in 1-6 scale. Here we have him, up close and personal, and we won't have to spend a ton of time here because we've seen this mold for Grogu previously. Now, the body is cut off. It does have a magnet on the inside. It's solely meant to be displayed inside one of the hover prams. There is a ton of texture for the robes, for the collar, and for the sleeves. Plus, there are washers in the crevices and some dirt and grime on the surface. Now, the head sculpt has been borrowed from the Scout Trooper version of Grogu with his big honk and smile and his ears perked up. 
Yeah, I really like this expression. There's some skin texture on the surface, but unfortunately, once again, there aren't any little rooted hairs. It would have been a really nice touch. Also, on mine, there is a very noticeable seam line. This one does use the exact same body, but it does have a different head sculpt. And I really like it. He's got the big glossy eyes just like before, but his mouth is now closed, with only two little teeth poking out up top. His ears are turned down, there's some pink shading on the inside, and the skin texture looks great. Now, if you're wondering where the heck has this head sculpt come from, it came from this little guy right here. Now, I'm tempted to use this head sculpt on this body, because I like the shade of green on the new one just a little bit better. But in saying that, it's, as always, down to personal preference. The third option is what I like to call the Bundle of Joy Grogu, and this is the only newly sculpted piece. Yes, you heard that right, this is fully sculpted. I thought the blanket was fabric because it looks really realistic. There are wrinkles and folds and texture and there's some dry brushing on the surface. But no, this is hard plastic. Now, Grogu himself does have a very squishy ear up top. I don't exactly know how I'm going to use this yet in the display, but don't worry, I will definitely figure it out, because this guy is too cute not to use. Lastly, we can't forget the Loath Cat. He looks really good too. There's a ton of texture to the fur, there's some gradient and shading, plus a bunch of dots and his eyes are suitably glossy. He also has these dinosaur-looking feet. They're creepy, but they are accurate to the Lothcat. My only complaint with this guy is that we only get one of them. I would have loved to have one sitting rather than just lying down, but at the very least, this is another creature to add to the Star Wars display. For a quick side-by-side -side comparison, here we have both Hover Prams flanking Mando and they end up around his waist height, which works perfectly for me, and he's holding on to the Bundle of Joy version. Now that one is a little bit tricky to finagle into his grip because it's quite a static, rigid piece, but in saying that, it absolutely can be done. The texture on the surface does provide a little bit of grip. Now, the Loath Cat and the Frog are simply sitting on the floor. The Loath Cat is bigger than I was expecting, and the Frog is about right. But for me, yeah, as you can see, I now have a full array of Hobber Prams and Grogu's. Now the question is... Where the heck am I going to put all these in the display? Just going over articulation on the Grogu's. No need for a warning, the head sculpt is on a ball joint, and that's pretty much it for both figures. Moving on to the three cool and three annoying things. The first annoying thing is that for all three Grogu's, we've seen these two on the right before. Meaning this one is technically the only new mold. And considering this is an accessory set for Yamando, I would have thought we would have gotten at least a couple more new versions. The second annoying thing is kind of an arbitrary one, and it depends on your thought process, but for me, I would have loved two Lothcats. I love the design for the Lothcat, and I would have liked two different expressions. You can use the same body, but have one with the snarling, angry look, and have one looking a little bit more placid and smiley, like this guy. The third annoying thing is that even though you get this little frog that Grogu tends to be chasing, you can't really have him holding or eating it or even interacting with it at all. Now, you could technically have him on the ground chasing it, but you only have half a Grogu here. His torso and his legs are simply chopped off because this is meant to go in the hover pram. So, for me, I feel like a fourth Grogu should have been included. One standing and holding the little frog, or even holding his little bowl. The first cool thing is if you have Mando, and if you're buying this Grogu set, I assume you do, you can use the clear flight pole to have a little bit more height, and use either of the new hover prams with this little sand block and attach it to the sand footprint display base. That means you now have options when it comes to your hover pram. The second cool thing is you can pop your fully wrapped up Grogu burrito inside the original hover pram to recreate his first appearance. 
and if you want to, you can slide on the top cover and fully encase him in the original hover pram. The third cool thing is that both hover prams come with their own display base, so even if you don't have Mando, this guy can still hover in your collection. Wrapping up on the Grogu set by Hot Toys, based off his appearance in The Mandalorian. Now, I don't really know whether I love this set or I hate it, so let's go through the pros and cons. Pro, you get two brand new hover prams with their own individual stands, which are accurate to various points in Season 1 and 2. You also get a loath cat and the little frog, and yeah, I'm glad to have more Star Wars creatures. Now for the cons, we have two out of the three Grogu's that are complete reuse. We've seen the head sculpts before, and the bodies between both of these are identical. We don't even get a standing Grogu in the set that can hold on to the frog. Now, I like the updated paint applications on the head sculpts, they look really good. They snap into the hover prams, and we do get one brand new version that's completely wrapped up in a blanket. I once again like that, but I don't love it. So for this set, I reckon unless you really find yourself wanting a 1-6 scale Grogu and it just happens to either be a half Grogu or a fully swaddled one, then I would just wait until you get your pre-order in for one of the Mandalorians or various other characters that come with the Grogu, because this set leaves me a little bit wanting. Now, if you are looking to grab this, I got mine from ToysWonderland.com. Link for that is in the description below. They have 12-month installment plans and a points-based reward system. While you're down there, why not hit that subscribe, bell notification icon, and join button. For more info on Justin's Collection Plus, the channel membership, if you like the sound of seeing your name in the end credits of my reviews, like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll catch you in the next video.